Platters, a genre that makes up a majority of the Roblox Tower Defense YouTube scene. Now, what is a platter? A platter is basically a video showing off gameplay of an extreme challenge a player completed within a tower defense game. Most of you guys might have seen these types of videos and been inspired to try one of these challenges. Hell, I even tried it myself three years ago. Bro, this is ASS! Within these simple videos lies a major problem that will cause extremely damaging consequences for the future of the Roblox tower defense scene. Today, I will be explaining why these types of videos need to go and the consequences that these videos will cause. Starting off, we will be looking at a YouTuber called Tom55512. His entire video discography is TDS Platters. Tom has a total of 177 videos, and when watching all of these, you will notice something. They're basically the same. Raw footage of gameplay with little to none editing. When taking a look at other channels that make their videos about plattering, they have the same structure and main idea as Tom55512's 177 videos have. What I'm saying that all these videos lack something called originality and personality. Things crucial for what makes a video being itself and being different from other videos. It's outstanding how popular these videos have become for the work required. An average platter takes around 20 to 40 minutes to record and can take 0 to 10 minutes to edit. In total, the maximum amount of time it takes to upload a platter video is 50 minutes. The work compared to videos like Propellers or even mine is crazy. For my video, tedious enemies I could beat up, it took 30 minutes to write a script, 3 hours to find clips for, for that video, and 7 hours to edit all of it. That's a 9 hour and 50 minute difference compared to the work I did to the average platter. To summarize all of this, these platters take ideas that have been overused and pump out low effort, lazy, and unoriginal ideas that show no difference to all the other thousands of videos. With the rise of Roblox tower defense games, the effects of Roblox tower defense videos will also increase. As more and more people invested into these games will branch out and begin to watch these types of videos. With increasing views, the popular genre of platter will also increase. The result of this is more and more platter videos begin to be recommended and uploaded, causing more people to, to see and make these unoriginal videos. The spread of these soulless videos will cause a community to lack any difference and cause those outliers to slowly fade out. Yes, this seems crazy, but let's put this in a scenario. Let's say Lil Timmy finds this game, Tower Defense Simulator. He plays it and really enjoys the game and wants to learn more about it. He goes onto YouTube and search up Tower Defense Simulator. And the first thing he sees... He watches these videos and becomes inspired to complete the same challenge they did. And let's say he won. He did it. And with such accomplishment, it's obvious that anybody would want to show it off. And Lil Timmy decides to post it post it on YouTube. Now let's say two people, Tyler the creator, and then Bob sees Timmy's video and they both want to try it. They win and the same reason as Timmy. They want to show off their accomplishment and they post it on YouTube. In result, three new platter videos have been uploaded, which means three new unoriginal videos in the TDS YouTube community. To summarize all of this, with how easily platter videos can be spread, the amount of platter videos will increasingly rise, causing more garbage to be filled within the TDS YouTube community, causing those, those inspired Creators who want to make TDS videos have a reference of this garbage. So in conclusion... Let's go!